Okay, before I go into the three chart types you kids have to know about uh, in terms of data visualization, there are two broad categories of questions you can ask. Let me get my highlighter. Yeah, there you go. Uh, the first uh, broad category is called composition, and the second one is called comparison. The reason why you need to know these broad categories is when you uh, try to tell stories from your data, you typically want to ask questions, right? And you want to answer questions as part of your story, right? So uh, composition is easily explained when I look at this image over here. So this is a composition type image of Nutella. So what is Nutella composed of? So number one item is sugar, as you see here, right? Sugar takes a is a, a huge component of Nutella. The number two item probably is uh, palm oil, and the rest are pretty minimal in terms of composition, right? So cocoa and hazelnuts are equal parts within Nutella. So it's a composition type visualization. And a good chart type for composition is a pie chart. And a pie chart is called a pie chart because it looks like a pie, obviously. But let's look at this interesting pie chart. Uh, what do I remember most about Legos? And the big slice of pie here, or the pie chart, is when you scream in agony is something uh, you remember most after stepping on a Lego. And the least, the smallest piece of pie here is the yellow color. So that would be, you know, you actually building things according to instructions, right? So uh, this is how you would look at a whole composed of these small parts, right? And this big piece here has a higher angle or a bit larger angle, uh, and it is proportional to that data value, which is a lot of people actually remember screaming, stepping on a Lego, okay? So the second type is uh, a bar chart. So this is good for comparisons. So this is the second broad category of questions you would ask, comparisons. Okay, so comparisons of uh, items here. Uh, how many kids actually liked apples? Excuse my sound today because I have a cold. Um, uh, I have, uh, you know, a hard time talking through this, but let's give it a shot. So apples, how many kids actually liked apples? You have uh, Y axis and X axis. X axis is a category of fruit or a type of fruit. And how many kids liked apples? You look at the y-axis and see where this line corresponds to. This is apples. This corresponds to number 10. Uh, 10 kids actually liked apples. Let's look at the smallest bar graph here, which is a pear. And how many kids actually like pear? Three. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward again. This is what a bar chart looks like. And it's easy to compare, you know, uh, most uh, versus uh, least. Right, so uh, least favorite here. So uh, when would you use a bar graph? When you have a lot of comparisons you need to do, you use a bar graph, okay? And let's look at the third type of chart, which is a line chart, which is also a comparison, but the comparison here typically for a line chart is against time, in this case, years. So this is moderate per 100,000 people uh, in the city of Austin. So as you see here, you have nine, uh, murders with, for every 100,000 in 1995, and it's gone lower, uh, almost half or less than half, to four, approximately four people murdered in Austin in 2012 for every 100,000 people, right? So that is a good graph to look at trending information over a period of time. Thank you.